I'm Sean Slocum. I've been here for one year. I'm the associate head coach, special teams coordinator, and coach outside linebackers. I got to know Todd Graham back in the early 90s. When he was a aspiring young head coach in high school. He would come down to Texas A&M where I was an assistant and visit us often. He actually worked our camps and got to know him. And through the years working at different places, he's had me come on a number of occasions to visit with his staff. And when the opportunity arose for me to join him here, um, it was something I really look forward to doing. Fortunately, being a coach, uh, my father was a coach. He's a Hall of Fame college coach. And uh, I was able to be around him for a long time as a young coach and developed a lot of my philosophies uh, under his tutelage. After that, I was able to go around the country and be at places like Pitt, um, USC, um, back to Texas A&M, Ole Miss, and uh, worked with a number of guys that uh, kind of helped me formulate what my thoughts are in terms of, of football. One of the most important lessons I learned from a player was back in 1998, uh, coached a young man named Chris Claiborne at USC. He won the Lombardi Award. He was a top 10 draft pick as a junior and a great player, and I learned not to overcoach him. He made a mistake on the field one day, ironically, against Arizona State and J.R. Redmond. And I asked him why he did what he did, which was unnatural. He said, because that's what you told me to do, coach. And at that time, I made a new rule, and that was for me, don't overcoach him, let him play. In terms of superstitions, uh, I really don't think I have any. I think we all have idiosyncrasies, things that we do. And I think a lot of times when you're going into a ball game, there's a lot of pressure involved there. So I'll tell you a fun story. For nine years when I was in Green Bay, when I initially got there, we had Brett Favre was our quarterback and Aaron Rodgers was our backup quarterback. For nine years, Aaron Rodgers had me throw a pass to him at the end of warmups just prior to the game. And it got to the point where if I didn't throw the pass just right, he would get upset with me. And then it got to the point where the other coach was like, hey, throw the guy the pass the right way so he doesn't get upset. It was his superstition. I had to throw it to him just right. Whether it was zero degrees or we were playing in 70 degrees, now I could be bundled up in a coat or whatnot and, and still expected the ball to be right there.